Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com uh, nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is doing well. Uh, if you are brand new to the channel, guys, just like, share, subscribe, uh, show support, and we will continue to bring uh, unbiased, uh, unbiased context to be a technical analysis. Uh, I'm going to try to keep this uh, very, very short. Uh, today is uh, my daughter's uh, first uh, varsity basketball game. She's literally the first, only uh, freshman on varsity, so I'm super duper excited. So she has a game in one town. My son has a game in another town. There's only one of me, so I got to get there. I got to get there. You got to get at least one of the kids. Hopefully they'll get home. So I'm going to make this kind of short and sweet. So yesterday uh, we saw uh, what pretty much was, the, uh, at least for the short term, a soft landing off the rising 20-day support. We lost the 388 level on the queues, and we traded down all the way down to 382, which gave it a hammer. If you watched last night's video, we talked about a hammer usually is bullish. doesn't mean that is the bottom. It just means that usually the next day, uh, the market will at least facilitate a little bit of a snapback, right? And that's exactly what we got today. Uh, if you look at a lot of names, a lot of names did uh, have snapbacks. Yes, a lot of names didn't participate, but a lot of names uh, did have the snapback based on this hammer. When you look at uh, all the gear, all the big ones, right? Uh, Amazon had a nice uh, move up. NVIDIA uh, had a really nice move up. Microsoft had a really nice move up. Apple had a really nice move up. You kind of get the point. And the most important part going into tomorrow's session is kind of understanding where we are in the dynamics of things. Yesterday, we did hold the rising 20-day moving average. So write down these levels, right? Um, 382.66 is yesterday's low, okay? That is the line in the sand going for, forward for the next couple of days, couple of weeks, whatever the case may be. This will be the big number. It's not a number that you have to sit there on social media and argue with somebody about. That is the number. That is the rising support. So if the bears get below this rising support, there's a lot of room down. Now, there's a flip side to that, right? So if you notice today on this rally, and again, call it what you want, but uh, on this rally today, the bulls got up to the 5-10 day moving average and they got rejected off that. That is your pivot to the upside. So 382.66 to the downside. Uh, you have 388.50, which is now the 510 day cross. And if the bulls can close above 388.50, then we're gonna start a next leg up into the upper channel, which pretty much has shown how strong the market is uh, in the last three weeks. If you look at uh, some of the other groups, uh, IWM has had a, a phenomenal move uh, off the bottom, a, a very neglected uh, group. The small caps very neglected for the first, you know, for pretty much 80, 85% of the year or having an incredible, incredible run uh, since the October lows on all major indexes. Today uh, took a breath. Again, the key is try to see uh, if you trade the IWM, try to see if you can get a back test into the five day moving average for a potential bounce. Uh, if you look at the SPYs, uh, SPYs kind of are looking uh, like the NASDAQ 100 did before the pull. And what I mean by that is take a mental snapshot, right? So if you see here, this is how you see how the Qs were hugging the five day. We kind of talked about this yesterday, right? And eventually when they snapped below the five day moving average, that was the move to the 20. Keep an eye on the SPYs. They're kind of doing the same thing. Uh, write down this level, guys, for the SPYs. Uh, 453.30s, okay? That's the line in the sand and the spies. It's kind of it was the same mirror image of the line in the sand and the cues. If, if the bears start getting back below uh, 453.30s, then well, in that you have a back test just like on the cues. And again, the groups that are still strong within the S&P 500, obviously uh, you have your Apple. They got to upgrade to a major move here. The Microsofts are still very, very strong. But again, it's the uh, names like the banks. Banks are holding this rally really, really well. Look at their you know, the retailers. Look at the retailers continue uh, to to show uh, really good strength, right? Look at Etsy, even Target that I've been swinging now uh, for a week and change. Even the down days, you know, are very fractional. So the S&P 500 is still uh, correlating pretty, pretty well, uh, holding and maintaining the five-day and the 10-day support. And that's going to be the key uh, going forward. Uh, tomorrow, you know, how do we begin? Again, uh, you know, we're right in a little bit in the middle of the channels. There are definitely selective stocks uh, that do look uh, very, very good going into tomorrow's session. 
Uh, Qualcomm, I, I like a lot. You know, Qualcomm uh, is consolidating, has not sold off. Even when they try to sell off the market today, On it's one of those names that couldn't go down. It was just a really, really strong uh, move. Uh, AI has uh, earnings, I believe, tomorrow. Again, depending on the earnings, keep an eye on AI on the top of the channel here. In case they come out with really good earnings, this one could... Uh, uh, could do pretty, pretty well. Uh, Arm, another uh, recent uh, IPO uh, semiconductor name. Uh, it's holding very, very well. You know, watch the top of the channel here. If they start taking out on uh, November highs, uh, this thing can wake up. This thing looks really, really good as well. Uh, Zoom, right? Zoom was the darling from the whole, uh, was the darling of the whole, uh, you know, stay at home movement and the whole, uh, you know, COVID craze. And, you know, honestly, it's not that far away. They had pretty good earnings. They've been building above the 50-day moving average. Watch the last supply here. There's literally one last supply here to go. Maybe it gets there, maybe it doesn't. Uh, but this is a name we definitely have to keep an eye on for the next couple of days if it starts to wake up. I'll tell you one thing. Today was uh, absolutely nuts with Tesla. And we caught Tesla pretty well today. It wasn't a fact. It was just, here's the crazy part about Tesla. You see this whole candle here, right? And we'll get to the pivots in a second. So Tesla, Tesla today had incredible, when I mean incredible, we had incredible 250, 255, 260, both weeklies and the 12, uh, 22 uh, expiration. And they just weren't coming with, you know, five, 10, 15, $20,000. They were coming with six and seven figure bets. At one point, it looked like Tesla was about to go back to uh, last week's high. Give us a, you know, five and a half, six point move. Uh, incredibly at the open and just as fast right just as fast as the stock did an incredible move it's like it's like they took out life out of this thing at lunchtime and it gave pretty much it gave pretty much you know 50 60 percent back uh into this area and if you look at the daily chart now it goes back into the range it, it went absolutely back into the range which is very very odd and it looked like the first part of the morning there was padding buying to get out of the stock right you could see here by the 60 minute view it was panic buying getting into the stock, and it looked like a forced liquidation uh, coming out of the name. Again, there was no news on it, at least I see specifically, uh, but I'm, I'm assuming in the next couple of days, based on this price action, we should get uh, some sort of clue of what the hell happened today. But, you know, pretty good move. You know, but definitely, definitely good move. Uh, and that's that. NVIDIA, right? NVIDIA, you know, it's, it's had a really hard last several weeks has come in held the 50-day moving average, and, you know, keep an eye on NVIDIA. You see how it keeps on getting rejected uh, off the orange line, right? That's the five-day. Orange line rejection, orange line rejection, orange line rejection. It got to the orange line basically uh, basically today. It needs to reclaim back that five-day moving average because if it does, it could start moving higher. So it's very, very important uh, that the Qs kind of get out of this channel. Again, uh, the big numbers going into tomorrow is the Qs need to reclaim, the Bulls need to reclaim, uh, 388.50 to the upside, which will reclaim back the 5 and the 10. And the Bears, their job is to take down uh, and confirm and start building below uh, yesterday's lows, which was uh, 382.60s. Other than that, guys, I apologize. I have to cut this short. I got about a 50-minute drive to Sparta, New Jersey. I have no idea what the hell that is, uh, but it's about 50 minutes away from my house, and hopefully I'll make it there in, in time uh, to see my second born, second born, uh, play her first uh, varsity uh, basketball game. Guys, God bless. Have a great night. I will see you all tomorrow. Take care.